All right, we're gonna go for a little hot lap here in a 1966 Barracuda. Oh, it's Barracuda Day today here at California Cars. This is a nice one, 66 with a little 273 V8. He's my favorite UPS person. Ah. All right, take a cruise up the road here. Pretty much a bare bones one, man. It's got a V8 in it, which is cool. But it's a 273 solid lifters, fresh rebuilt, a lot of performance goodies in there. Um, it has uh, non-power brakes, non-power steering. Uh, got the center console with three-speed automatic transmission. Got the factory gauges there. Look at that tachometer, it's called a performance indicator. I like that. Performance indicator. This has like the Formula S package, you know, with the emblems and everything like that. Kind of a cool, like a little fastback. Even back here, it's got the fold down rear seat, the fishbowl glass. Seats are comfortable, you know, they're not original, uh, they're original seats, but they're not original material. It's got cloth, so it's kind of comfortable. You know, another tachometer down there, performance indicator and a tach. Hmm, uh, performance indicator must be something else. Probably RPMs. All right, cruise up this road right here. Nice bright red paint. Rust-free California car. Underneath this thing looks great. I have pictures of it if you need to see that. But again, original steering wheel. And it uh, stops good for having drum brakes. That's always a plus. But you can add disc brakes if you want. They have so many different kits available for these types of cars. You can put power steering. You can add disc brakes. Put a bigger engine if you want. But um, at the end of the day, this has got the look, you know, just classic look. It's got the, the rally wheels on there with the trim rings. Don't steer too bad either. Just can't be a baby. You gotta muscle up and steer it. All right, we're gonna come up here and take some more pictures and some more video for you. All right, here's some more info on our little 1966 Barracuda. It's got the Formula S uh, upgrade to it. A little 273 Commando V8 with solid lifters. It runs really good, fresh rebuilt, lots of nice internals done. I've got some records and receipts for that. Um, been a California car for a long time. Got it from a guy that I've bought several cars from over the years. And uh, he's just kind of thinning out the herd a little bit. Still got some few, uh, a few more I'm waiting for. Anyhow, uh, 66 Barracuda is the early years of a Barracuda. Got that giant fishbowl back window. You see everything in there. It's pretty cool. Some guys will tint it to save the interior, but most people leave these in the garage. But it's got the, uh, the little rally wheels. Little Plymouth PMDs, I think they call them. Little Commando V8 emblem there. Show you inside. Pretty nice. Door panels are all nice. You know, the paint on the inside is real good too. Original steering wheel, factory gauges. Everything seems to work there. Little tachometer there on the center console mount. Even got interior lights up there. Little back seat folds down. I'm like a little work truck. <laughs> nah, cool little muscle car though. These are a, these are the smaller, smaller little cars, just kind of like the early Novas and that sort of thing. So you put a little V8 in them, and they're all of a sudden they're pretty. They scoop pretty good, and they're not a bunch of money. I mean, the the newer Barracudas are double the price. So if you want to get in uh, inexpensively and have fun going to the cruise nights, everybody's going to give you the thumbs up. This is the one to get. Here's the power plant in the '66 Barracuda. Uh, it's kind of hopped up. It's a good little uh, 273, like I said, with solid lifters. It's got an Edelbrock carburetor on there. MSD ignition, as you can tell, so it gets a good spark. Really clean in here. Still got, you know, no power steering, no power brakes. There's a single reservoir uh, over there for the brakes, but those upgrades aren't that difficult. And actually, it steers, because it's such a small car, it steers and stops actually pretty good, the way it was supposed to back in 1966. We'll go ahead and fire this one up for you. There we go. Runs good. That sounds nice and quiet up here. And a little noisy in the back. That's the way you want it. It's got exhaust manifolds on there, no headers. Got a little rumpity rump cam to it. Dual exhaust all the way out the back. Sounds good. It's a nice little car. If you want to come out and see this one in person, I'd be happy to show it to you. We're at 2158 
Union Place in the city of Simi Valley, California. And uh, phone number here is 818-591-1313. My name is Rich. And uh, if you get a chance, come on by. If you're too far away and you want it shipped, we can get a range shipping right to your doorstep. Thanks for watching.